So, though, I got my popcorn and I got my cuddle buddy. It feels like ages since I last made a good ghost caught on camera video. And since then, some pretty interesting pieces have come out that have caused a storm on the internet. Now, not all of these are new. I have also dug up some old ones that still need some explaining. So, from a believed ghost sighted in a New Mexico police station, to the UK's most popular ghost program, who say they have finally found evidence of ghosts. Here are five pieces of creepy paranormal related footage. What is that? As always, hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. Ugh. Fuck! Espanola Police Station. Now, this footage surfaced in 2014 and caused enough of a stir that it was even featured on Action 7 News. The supposed entity was caught on surveillance cameras at Espanola Police Station in New Mexico. When police officer Carl Romero was on duty and monitoring the surveillance cameras around the station, when he spotted what he initially thought was a fly or moth, until he saw what he believes are legs. Concerned it may have been an intruder, Carl reported it to his supervisors, and it was confirmed that the area where the image was caught was secure, and there was no way in or out without an alarm sounding. Take a look. Yup, no, nah. that's a fucking ghost, spirit, demon, it's one of those shits, what the fuck? But it seems this is not an isolated incident, as officers from the station have reported strange noises, unexplained images in the lobby, and the feeling of someone breathing on them. There is nothing about the building that suggests anything has happened there to create any paranormal activity although the surrounding area has seen some unsolved murders. I think what makes this interesting is that those police officers have openly admitted to believing it was a ghost and were even willing to be interviewed about it. I definitely... Ghost in RF oh, base. Nah, hold on, top five. Top five, top five, top five. I know it's that top five, but I'm top two and I'm not two and I got one, I thought you had one, but it's not one nigga, nah. Hey, let's go. But I would definitely, you know, I really hope those officers, those security guards, would not be still working there after seeing... It sounds to me like some of them are still working there after seeing some paranormal shit. No. If I was on duty, right, if I was on the clock, right, and I was, you know, eating a snack, and I just so happened to glance up at the camera, at the, at the screen, the monitor, right, and I seen a fucking ghost, I would have been like... Okay, let's rewind that. Yep, that's a ghost. I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm not even gonna clock out. I'm peace, Peter. Peace. I'm out, brother. Yo, Hannah. I was I wanted to fuck you, but I can't no more. I just can't. I was this close to fucking you. This close. This close to fucking you. Fuck you, Adam. Hannah. I was so close to fucking you, but I can't. You know why? Because there's a fucking ghost here. This close, Hannah. Fuck. Fuck. This close to fucking you. But I can't no more. There's a fucking... I'm gone. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just saying. This next footage was caught by Steve Wesson and his team as part of the YouTube series Seeking the Unknown Haunted Adventures. It was taken while they were exploring the abandoned Mamby RAF base in Lincolnshire, England. The building they were in was formerly the officer's mess. And in its day, it was an elaborate and impressive building built in the 1930s. But when the base closed in 1974, the building was used as an old people's home for a period before being left derelict. However, it has remained intact, becoming a magnet for explorers, including Wesson and his team, I'm not who took over 24 hours of footage. 
I'm just going to show you the clip with a dark figure that appears to be walking through the hallway. The team supposedly have no idea who it is and didn't even realize it until they looked back at the footage. Take a look. As the team are hearing noises from the second floor, as we head down to investigate, unknown to us, this is the same area as two days before, an unknown figure was seen passing us as we filmed the intro for this episode. Oh, 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 shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, my fucking, what the, ho! Oh, I'm gonna need, hold on. This is old ass water. Now I'm talking like a couple days. That's just sitting out in this bottle. I don't know what the fuck is in here, but I'm just I'm just saying. I just realized that after I drank it. Wow, that's so fucking nasty. What the? Did y'all see that shit? That bitch looked like a regular fucking person. Live human person. That was just nonchalantly just walking. Minding his own goddamn business. Are you serious? You know, are you telling me that they didn't fucking see that? The cameraman didn't see that shit until afterwards? All of them are fucking bullshitting. If I was a cameraman, bruh, I would have noticed that shit immediately. Like, what the fuck? Yo, that shit scared the shit out of me. That thing was... That thing shit... That, <laughs> that thing shit looked like an average person. Right? He looked real. Right? And if I didn't know any better, I, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought it was a real person in all black. In all black. Average height. You know. Nobody saw that shit out of their fucking peripherals. None of y'all got glasses on either. They also swear they were the only people in that building at the time and had special permission to be there. It's been said that Mambi is haunted by the ghost of a Second World War pilot who has been seen wandering the area wearing either a long coat or flying gear. It's also been claimed that people have heard the drone of aircraft engines on the old <coughs> runway. It looks a little too good to be true, but the team are confident it was none of them. What's your thoughts? Wentworth Woodhouse. If anyone has seen the British TV series Most Haunted, they will probably agree it's been regarded as a bit of a joke that is hammed up with overreactions for the viewers. It's entertaining regardless, and this year they were filming at Wentworth Woodhouse in England, a stately house that dates back to the 1700s and is one of the largest private houses in the United Kingdom. The house has a long history of paranormal activity, including a phantom black dog, a figure in the window thought to be the former owner, Charles Wentworth, as well as his scandalous wife, Mary, who brought shame on the family with her affair with a servant. It's also said that a child haunts the premises. While filming in the corridors of the huge house, the team claimed they captured an actual ghost for the first time in the show's 17 year history and it's gained some traffic since they released it. Take a look. Oh, I 
Come on, if you're here, walk up this corridor. On the infrared there, but right. it, it, the noise is kind of, I don't know, it's like in the centre, here. Okay. Come on, if you're oh. here. If you're here, what, what's that? What's that? There. What do you mean, what's that? Oh, I can see it now. Go for it, go for it. Oh. Yeah. And then he go, he, he, wow, he's going after the motherfucker. He talking about what's that? He obviously doesn't know what it is. What's that? What's that? What's that? Go after it. Don't get fucked up. Go after it. The figure appeared after one of the crew heard footsteps, and it seems to be walking through a doorway before one of the teams starts to chase it, and then it disappears. I'm not claiming this is the real thing, but the most haunted team, and many people, seem genuinely convinced it is. What do you make of it? I'm seeing it. I'm... The Balancing Baby. Now, this next footage is not entirely paranormal, <gasps> but it is pretty creepy, and the presence of a ghost has been claimed by many as being responsible. The footage was caught on a night vision nanny cam and went viral in 2016. Okay. It features a baby called Connor crying for his mother, who then seems to climb and balance on top of his cot as if being held by an unknown force. The footage has divided opinion, with some believing the baby looks possessed and other claiming the footage is fake. I've seen this. What the fuck are the parents at? Who's watching this child? It definitely looks like somebody's holding the baby, you know? Like the way. Oh, shit. But Connor's parents, Chuck and Kate Booth, have insisted the video is authentic and have absolutely no explanation for the actions of their child. They are still looking for answers, and I would love to hear your thoughts. The duppy. The what? In Jamaica, the word for a ghost or spirit is a duppy. And when this footage of an 11-year-old boy in Jamaica appeared in 2010, locals believe that a duppy was responsible, and that it was the friend of the boy who had died what four years previously. Fuck? The incident caused so much alarm and distress to the small town that local news reporters were sent in to witness the event and interview the boy. And they managed to capture on several occasions the boy being violently pulled back by what seems like some invisible force. Take a look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fuck saving him. I would have been like, you can take him. Now at first, it may seem the boy is doing it himself, and some have claimed he is pulling a prank, but he is either really good at faking that, or something weird is going on, because it genuinely looks like he is being pulled. As well as what has been witnessed on camera, the boy claims he has had objects thrown at him, and that he can see the duppy. Wow. Now, there has been speculation that the boy is just messing around, but looking at the footage, I'm not so sure. But what do you think? So that's five pieces of paranormal rated footage. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Yo, for that last one, for that kid that was being pulled, I would have been like, fuck it, take him, take him. Just, just don't take me. Take him. I don't know this motherfucker. I'm not his father. You know? My pullout game. Strong. Fuck me. Fuck you. <laughs> it really is though. It, like it's My pullout game is strong as fuck. I'm just letting. You know. Just letting y'all know that. You know. Fellas. Y'all need to make sure. That your pullout game. Is strong. Right? Just sing.
<laughs> I got this. I got what I'm about to say now. I got this uh, shit from a uh, hard friends. It was like, uh, you need to practice the um, withdrawal method. It was like, you in? You feel like you about to come? We got like, oh, and then spray her down. <laughs> oh, shit, man. But yeah, man, fuck. Like, I understand, like, there's people out here that that deals with, you know, ghost spirits, demons, all that. You know, they, they do that shit for a living. They do it for a hobby. They like doing it. I understand that. But what I don't understand is if you're doing, like, see, like, if you're doing it, right? And let's say you catch some shit on camera. While you're editing. Or, or you catch some shit while you're actually there in person. Right? And. Would you. Would you still want to do it though? Like would you still go back to that area? Like I wouldn't. First of all I don't know why I'm there in the first place. But let's just say. I am. For the hell of it. And I seen an actual ghost in person with my own eyes. There's not a chance in hell I'm going to go back to that same area. I might, you know, I might. I don't know. I know I'm gonna be far uh, as far away as possible. Wait, I said all right. I'm gonna be as sh I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to be as far away as possible as um. Wait, I <laughs> I fucked all that up. Basically, if I see a ghost, I'm going I'm gonna be far away. That's I uh, you know, and if I could, you know. Go to a, move to a new, you know, um, country. Or at least a couple, couple thousand miles away, you know. Then I, I would, I definitely would. Because, no, that. So, though, I got my popcorn and I got my cuddle buddy. It feels like ages since I last made a good ghost caught on camera video. And since then, some pretty interesting pieces have come out that have caused a storm on the internet. Now, not all of these are new. I have also dug up some old ones that still need some explaining. So, from a believed ghost sighted in a New Mexico police station, to the UK's most popular ghost program, who say they have finally found evidence of ghosts. Here are five pieces of creepy paranormal related footage. What the fuck is that? As always, hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. Ugh, fuck! Espanola Police Station. Now, this footage surfaced in 2014 and caused enough of a stir that it was even featured on Action 7 News. The supposed entity was caught on surveillance cameras at Espanola Police Station. So, though, I got my popcorn and I got my cuddle buddy. It feels like ages since I last made a good ghost caught on camera video. And since then, some pretty interesting pieces have come out that have caused a storm on the internet. Now, not all of these are new. I have also dug up some old ones that still need some explaining. So, from a believed ghost sighted in a New Mexico police station, to the UK's most popular ghost program, who say they have finally found evidence of ghosts. Here are five pieces of creepy paranormal related footage. What the fuck is that? As always, hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. Ugh, fuck! 
Espanola Police Station. Now this footage surfaced in 2014 and caused enough of a stir that it was even featured on Action 7 News. The supposed entity was caught on surveillance cameras at Espanola Police Station in New Mexico. When police officer Carl Romero was on duty and monitoring the surveillance cameras around the station, when he spotted what he initially thought was a fly or moth, until he saw what he believes are legs. Concerned it may have been an intruder, Carl reported it to his supervisors and